and I welcome you back to the Dubrennick channel. Today we are talking about Lake Mead. We're going to continue our series of where all the water goes from Lake Mead to California to everywhere else and we we'll talk about swimming pools today. We're going to talk about almonds today and we're also going to talk about how many gallons of water a person uses typically in a normal day. You're going to be quite shocked how many gallons that is and we'll check the water levels. We'll check everything else. So without further ado, we are going to be talking about California we're going to be talking about their swimming pools now there is a whole bunch of swimming pools and swimming pools are great especially on a hot day you can go use them and chill everybody probably that owns a swimming pool is quite aware that there's a chlorine shortage so it's really making it challenging this summer to actually be able to use your pools because if you have no chlorine the water can't stay clean and it's a real real mess I have my own small swimming pool and I struggle with it myself luckily for me I don't live in a drought stricken area currently hopefully it stays that way we'll just have to wait and see these swimming pools are a mess though it takes literally 10 to 20,000 gallons of water to fill up a swimming pool people be like well they don't use that much water well you're right once they're full they don't use that much water but how many new ones are going in every year and how many gallons are put in a swimming pool every year from evaporation see the common denominator here especially with my old series of car washes they say they recycled them so I had a bunch of people tell me that they recycled car washes something I wasn't aware of because they don't do it around here I had no idea that they did it out west but the common denominator goes to evaporation people drive off with a wet car they're rolling out with at least a couple gallons of water on their car as they roll out while it's still sopping wet and then it dries it don't go back to the car wash so you are losing water every time there's a car being washed and evaporation in the air because if it's steamy if it's a hundred plus degrees outside those cars are being washed water is still going to evaporate no matter what happens that is just sheer fact you guys we talk about the golf courses well they're using irrigation well they are using irrigation but they're still using water that water being sprayed into the air through the ground ground heats up some of that's getting lost due to evaporation no matter what you do just sitting there idle in the pond it's losing water same as a pool same as a pond same as a lake you want to hear some really crazy statistics here you go lake mead has lost 5.5 trillion gallons of water since this drought has started that is more than 1,000 olympic sized swimming pools lost every day for nearly 22 years let that blow your mind so you want to know where the majority of your water is being lost right there another crucial thing we want to talk about is how much water is being drawn from nestle i keep seeing these comments i had no idea about nestle being on the colorado basins they're also apparently on the arkansas river which flows to the mississippi nestle draws anywhere between 250 to 510 million gallons of water each year from the colorado basin and arkansas river now now if you split that in half that's still 125 to 250 million gallons just say from each of those places and that's terrible because it impacts plants wildlife local and tourisms around the area this takes me to almonds i promise we would be talking about the almonds and it's time that people need to get off the juice i know there's almond almond this almond that there's almond milk so on and so forth almonds use a lot of water every year to grow one almond requires 1.1 gallons of water and to grow a pound takes 1900 gallons of water every year so almonds are using a lot of water a tree usually only produces 50 to 65 pounds you do the math on that it takes 114,000 gallons of water for one tree to produce 50 to 65 pounds that is an insane amount of water how many farmers grow almonds in California and you guys are going to be shocked to hear this one this is crazy so the biggest problem is almonds are popular as ever and California has 6,800 growers turning out 2.26 billion pounds of almonds and that's a staggering 637.56 billion gallons of water that goes into the almonds alone and that's where a lot of your water is going from Lake Mead. That is insane, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's talk about how many gallons of water an average person uses a day. Lo and behold, I was shocked. 85 gallons of water. That's anywhere between drinking 
washing your clothes, taking a shower, whatever you do, it equals 85 gallons of water that is consumed every day by the average human being. And I assume this is food consumption they must be taking into consideration because if you're eating a bunch of almonds, you're consuming a bunch of water. A pound of almonds equals about three cups of almonds. That amounts to 276 almonds per pound. That is equivalent to 579.6 billion almonds this year. And there you have it with, with California producing 80 percent of the world's almond you're getting most of that water from lake mead or lake oroville or lake shasta or the feather river or you catch my drift a lot of water is being used by almond trees bottom line is boycott almonds until this drought's over at least and if you don't they're just going to raise the price on you anyway so you might as well just go ahead and start that process now now let's go check out the water levels Okay, Lake Mead water level. Current water level is at 1069.22 and that's above sea level. Tuesday, June 29, 2021 at 12 p.m. this was taken. Level is currently 159.78 feet below full pool and it is dropping quickly today. We are down 0 0.10 and full pool is at 1229 feet. Winter pool 915 and there you have it it continues to slide it is the lowest it's ever been since it has been built and it continues to drop every day so this is our new low record at 3 p.m which the video will be in the process it won't be on here but it will continue to drop every time it's updated this is our current most updated information we have so let's go check out the weather forecast and see if anything's changed god willing let's hope there's some rain in the area here you have it there is some rain in the area we have a heavy storm just over by lake Powell, right to the south of page and then we have some rain up here as well any rain's good rain no matter what got some rain down around vegas you got some rain up here to the north on a branch of Lake Mead as well. Some rain down here at Flagstaff, which is good. Arizona is getting some rain. Not you, Phoenix, not so much. Over here, Tuba City out here is getting gobs of rain and all this rain. Good sign. This is probably too far to affect Lake Mead whatsoever. We go up here to the Colorado Basin, and this is a real good sign. There's some rain coming. Now, how much rain is that? We'll check that in a minute. This is not going to fill up the lake by any means. We need this for, like, days, but this will definitely help maybe a little bit, I hope. We'll see. Some rain up here by Grand Junction, just to the west of Denver, down here here at Cortez. Let's go check the accumulation. Unfortunately over the next 10 days it's not producing a whole lot so they're saying this is only producing a little over a half inch. Same as theirs 0 0.586 somewhere there. Three quarters of an inch is good. Aspen over here this is really good. This is a good sign here. If this continues to do this the rest of the summer we'll be in better shape than we are currently. Let's check out the 72 hour resolution and see how much rain has actually fallen in this area. So up by St. George they actually gotten almost a half inch check this out 1.83 inches that would be great if this was widespread unfortunately it's not widespread um, over here by the Grand Canyon they got 2.35 inches which is fantastic over here they got 0 0.2 inches I'm gonna go over here to Colorado and Rio Grande which flows the other way unfortunately got 0.58 but down here 0.31 and that goes that way over here by Boulder an inch almost and down here 1.48 that's right around Continental Divide somewhere in there and then up here 1.02 so they have gotten some rain in the area Phoenix unfortunately anybody that lives down here you haven't got anything over the last 72 hours over to the west you got 0 0.18 in an extreme drought it's just gonna suck it right up it's not gonna do anything you need gobs and gobs of rain and unfortunately that's not the case there's a 1.8 we'll watch but look at the amount of rain out here over here has fallen over the last couple days these were all in the blues it's lightened up some but I mean this is this is in saying just to the south of Kansas City, Oklahoma City, 12.2 inches. If we could get that over here, that would be a blessing. Look over here, the Sierra's actually got some rain, which is a good sign. They actually over by Yosemite got over an inch, which is fantastic. We just need it to continue to rain. I hope, pray that they get more and more rain. We'll see. You guys have a blessed day. 
and we'll see you next time on the Dobrynik channel. God bless.